Ben Q contacted me and asked me if I wanted to review this unit here. This is the Travolo U. It's a uh, Bluetooth mobile speaker. Oh, there you go. So Travolo U Bluetooth speaker. Um, based on what I'm seeing online, this thing looks pretty impressive, to be honest. So you're not just getting a very high quality speaker with this device here that's going to give you, you know, premium sound. It also is more of an all-in-one type device. It actually has a microphone built in. So this is, you know, it's going to be great if you're setting it up on your counter and just listening to some music, but it's also going to be great, you know, if you're playing games, you can hook that up and get some really nice quality sound. However, it's also great for professionals. So, you know, if you have a laptop with really crappy speakers, and, you know, a lot of people do, especially if you have a Windows machine, I mean, you're kind of stuck with whatever crappy sound you have crappy mic that's built into the device. This is something you can set up on the side of your device, right beside it. Um, you can hook it up via Bluetooth, and then you can actually use it as a pure conferencing device too, as well. So you're not just gonna be using it for media consumption, you know, listening to music, watching shows, that kind of thing, but you also get a high quality built-in microphone as well. So you're gonna get better sound coming to you, but you're also gonna be supplying significantly better sound to your audience. And if you're a professional, especially if you know you work from home or you have a business or you're a teacher or something like that, and you, you need to have good quality speakers and you need to have good quality audio going to your audience, I mean, honestly, the microphone built into most laptops is garbage, like absolutely garbage tier. So unless you're gonna get a full setup microphone and have that on the side, you know, that may be not feasible for you or you may just not like it. This is kind of a perfect all-in-one solution. Piece of paper, and here we go. So we get a USB-C cable, uh, headphone jack, so standard 2.5 millimeter headphone jack for that hookup. So you can do Bluetooth or you can do direct wired if you're some kind of audiophile. We get our little power there. Okay, and there we go. Oh, it's got some good weight to it. Holy smokes. It's actually littler than I thought it would be. I don't know why I thought it would be bigger from that box, but um, it has a lot of weight to it. Not always, it's not always critical that, you know, an electronic has good weight to it, but typically if, you know, something feels suspectfully light, it's not necessarily good. And wow, that is a beautiful color. So it's got this beautiful, I don't know what color that is. It's not aqua. It's like a cyan aqua kind of, it's a very beautiful blue color. Very, very nice. Metal grade on the front, quite nice there. So you have the brand branding of the model Travolo there. It's This is plastic, it's a very premium hard plastic, quite nice. Um, rubberized control, so it's not cheap plastic, so you have your, uh, you know, your voice things. Vol volume up and down, Bluetooth, uh, power. Um, radiator on the back, um, probably the same idea there. And the weight is actually quite nice. It's, it's, it's not heavy, but it's got weight to it. So it feels premium. So when you put it on your desk, it's not gonna, you know, just feel like some cheap little thing it's gonna blow over. Uh, it has rubberized, this is a full rubberized bottom. So once it's on your desk, it's not going anywhere. Like you can move it, but you just pick it up. So it's nice and firm. Like I'm actually, like that's quite hard to move if you're just turning it. So it's really, really nice. Very, very premium feeling. So um, yeah, let's turn it on. Let's just start testing it out. But so again, you can charge it, you can hook it up and you know, that kind of thing, but it has a built-in battery, so. Um, it looks like the battery is full to start, so I'm just gonna, you know, let it run off battery for now. Okay, so let's just connect to this now. Okay, we've connected on its own, cool. Um, searching for Trivolo, Trivolo. It is not found, that's a lie. Here we go. So we'll connect. Here we go, we're hooked up. Um, we'll do the, okay, you can update the firmware. I'll do it later. Um, that's fine. You can play, there's your um, battery life, 89%. Uh, so you got your sound modes here. Um, you can change through this here depending on what type of, uh, depending on what type of things you're doing. Uh, this one here is gonna be perfect for, as I hear, decreasing echo, which I do have in this room with a lot of echo because it's a smaller room with a lot of bare walls. So that's gonna be a nice one for that um, when I'm teaching or when I'm learning music. I mean, when I'm in my groove mode, listen, playing games, whatever. Obviously I'm gonna be in music mode. My phone, what else we got in here? Oh, this is the uh, music adjustment, so we go like that. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully. Um, start detecting. So it's gonna see how far I am away. I'm about two, Safe volume is on. two and a half feet. So it's going to adjust how far I am. And it's actually using- Safe volume is done. There we go. It's actually using a, like a little scanner there. So probably a laser, a little LiDAR beam, checking how far I am. So you can see here, ambient volume. My room is quiet. I was talking. I should have shut up when that was happening. Um, and it's gonna tell me how loud it's gonna go. Um, and how far I am away. So that's how many centimeters I am. Uh, 50 to 100 centimeters, that's gonna be 
two to three feet. And for Americans, um, let's do it again. Safe volume is on. Safe volume is done. So I was not so lousy. I was not so noisy that time. Okay, so it's gonna tell us, you know, we can go pretty loud. Um, let me move this really close now. So I'm gonna move this really close to me. I'm about a foot away, I'll do it again. Safe volume is on. Safe volume is done. And you can see there, it's telling me it's just as quiet, but look how much closer I am. Now I'm uh, like 20 to 50 centimeters away, so it's pretty close. And it's turned down the volume optimally, so it's not gonna blow my eardrums out, right? Let's move it in closer here. You're not Safe gonna... volume is on. Safe volume is done. So it turned down even more, because now it's right in front of me. Like, yeah, it's about 20 centimeters away from me, half a foot or so. Um, so it turned down quite a bit, so it's not gonna blow my eardrums out. So, I mean, this is super cool, right? When I'm cooking and I'm in my kitchen, um, you know, I can just have it set up like that and it's gonna tell me how far I am away. But for meetings and that kind of thing, this is really nice. Of course, you can do all this with, you know, this device here. So, uh, you know, just press this button here. Safe volume is on. Safe volume is done. So it adjusts automatically. You could see that it actually popped up. Okay, so we'll do a voice memo. Um, obviously, I'm gonna be hooked up to this. So we'll try the voice memo at a normal distance here. And we'll just listen to it. So this is a test of the microphone or the Travolo. Uh, if I was using this for a conference or something like that, this is potentially how it would sound. You know, if I'm learning, if I'm teaching, this is a perfect device for that because I don't need to bring out my, I don't have to bring out my microphone, which can be super annoying for teaching because typically I have that for YouTube so that can maintain its own business. When this is set up here, you know, it's gonna be an output device and an input device together. And I don't have to worry about my microphone on my crappy, the crappy microphone on my Keo up top, my webcam, which has a great webcam and a terrible uh, microphone. You get your microphone in, in the device itself. You get your sound out as well. So it's kind of an all-in-one, right? You don't need to buy multiple devices. My Keo okay. up top, my webcam. So while I'm playing this back, I'm gonna show you guys something. Uh, microphone. So you know, I can just use this. Thing. There's gonna be a lot of reverb if I'm in music mode. I hope it'll sound pretty good. And uh, yeah, I mean, maybe you're playing games or something like that too, right? If you're There's playing echo. games online, and you know, or if you're a streamer or something like that, maybe you don't want to buy into another device like that. Lots of echo. So I mean, it's kind of a one, right? You get your microphone built in, you get your you get your microphone in, in the device itself, you get your sound out as well. So it's kind of an all-in-one, right? You don't need to buy multiple devices. Yeah, so super, that actually works very well, that reverb, I just wanted to test it. Uh, when you put it in spoken format or whatever, so you know, if you're teaching or you're learning, uh, and you're in a classroom or something like that, or a business meeting, you know, a lot of times those are in large echoey rooms. And that can be actually annoying for someone who's learning um, when you get a lot of reverb and echo in a, in a room when you're trying to learn. So in this case, I mean, you basically just set up your, uh, in this case, you just basically turn on that uh, uh, video learning mode and it reduces the echo, which I'm surprised how well that worked. Looks like it wants to set up some type of sound profile. So let's do that, start testing. Environmental test. This might be annoying for you guys, but I'm gonna do it. So it's making a little beeping sound, pretty quiet, but it'll go yes, so I heard that, very, very quiet. You probably didn't hear it. Five hundred hertz, so I can hear that. I can hear that. I don't know, I'm like in my 30s, so maybe I just can't hear the sound. Ah, okay, now I can hear it. You have completed the sound test. So I guess that'll give me a curve to basically decide, you know, I'm an old man and I can only hear certain things. So I'm gonna put bows old man hears. So that should adjust based on my hearing because everyone's hearing is different, right? Some people are hearing impaired. Some people just have, I don't know, standard average hearing. Some people get older and when you get older, you're going to become less sensitive. As you get older, you're going to become less sensitive to some sounds. Um, so the higher frequency stuff, I'm going to start losing it as I get older. Younger people, it might actually bother them if it's too high. And then, you know, there's people who have hearing impairments or hearing limitations. So it's really, really cool that it actually basically customizes the audio for your hearing because everyone has different levels of being able to hear things. So it's nice that, you know, 
that's a feature here, an accessibility feature for people who just can't hear everything. Okay, so it's when I turned it on, it's already trying to pair. My MacBook is already finding it, so we'll just uh, connect. And it uh, should be automatic. Okay, that's done, I guess. So that was instant. It's already connected to my MacBook. Um, let's do some just audio testing to start here. So we're going to bring that over here. So you have the audio on the top here. You can use your device. Like I can turn it down for my device over here. You can see. I can mute it, obviously, but I'm going to use these here. It's probably going to be loud, so if you have headphones. Whoa, holy smokes. Okay, let me turn that down. Okay. All right, so right off the bat, it has a ton of bass. So before I crank this, if you have headphones, uh, be careful because this thing is going to sound super loud. Holy smokes. I wish I had something with like rattle. Wow, okay. Turn it up even louder. It's going to be very loud. This thing puts out a ton of bass. Holy smokes. I'm, I, like, I wish I could open it. I don't want to break it because I actually want to keep this thing. Um, but here, here's their speak. Here's their like schematics um, just off their website. And uh, whatever is producing that bass is incredibly impressive. I don't want to open this up and break it. We'll move beyond that. It has a ton of bass. So if you're an audiophile and you listen to bass heavy stuff, like I have these lo-fi beats over here, you know, if you listen to hip hop or electronic or whatever, you like bass music if you like bass in your music you are not lacking this is going to absolutely crush any laptop steam deck whatever you have it's probably going to outperform your desktop speakers in many cases unless you have some very high-end desktop speakers speakers on your computer this is going to outperform it like you could use this as a sound bar the bass on this is exceptionally high but it doesn't drown out the rest of it because the overall speaker is well balanced so you know from the low all the way up to the high there's a nice curve there. It sounds very, very nice, um, but it definitely has way more bass than I anticipated. So that's that. Let's go with some audio and we'll do some spoken stuff. Guy. His body has been broken up into a bunch of different pieces. So he enlists Bebop and Rocksteady to put his body back together. Bebop and Rocksteady attack Channel 6 in an effort to steal machinery so that Krang and Shredder can take over New York City. I always like Donatello because he's dorky, you know? I have a soft we'll spot for nerds. There's no need to make a comment, you know? Like, I know it's tempting, but just, you can keep it to yourself. Anyway, Donatello has the lowest speed and average power, but he makes up for Yeah, so the spoken side is also very clear. Um, clearly, it's emphasizing that as well. It's time to have some fun. So I paired this with my uh, PS Vita. I think this is going to be a real cool device for, uh, you know, handhelds. Um, I mean, a lot of these handhelds have decent enough sound, but it's kind of cool you can get some serious sound out of it. So let's test this out. I went with my white PS Vita because it's... Uh, Nice and clean. So it's obviously going to be much more immersive, especially the voices. The clarity of the voices are part of the impressive part here. So, I mean, it sounds amazing, absolutely amazing. The voices especially really pop. Turn down now. Producing the sound on the Tribolo over here, you're gonna get significantly more immersive experience on the Vita here. This is gonna be another awesome one here, is Diablo 4. Diablo 4 is amazing to play on a handheld like this, and the speakers on the ROG Ally here, they're pretty good, to be honest, they're pretty good, but you lack a lot of that, like, I don't know, atmosphere, the Diablo games are full of atmosphere. Typically in Diablo here, I mean, you get great music, tons of atmosphere. Um, the one negative of the ROG Ally and the Steam Deck here is the fans can be kind of noisy, especially in demanding games. So, I mean, you really have to you know, turn these up and they don't sound great. So here, you know, I'm assuming I'm going to be able to easily overcome the uh, audio limitations here. Oh yeah, it sounds amazing. Even that horse effect, holy smokes. I, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm gonna be honest, you probably aren't hearing anything close to as good as what I'm hearing, but man, does that sound good. The 
horse effect alone sounds so realistic and immersive. I've been playing this just on the handheld because I love playing it on the Steam Deck and the ROG Ally. This game is amazing. But there's that guy loading. But uh, it just lacks some of the immersion. You know? Oh. Let's turn that down a little bit. Holy smokes. Ally playing, I just had to crank everything, and you couldn't really separate them out like that. But here, I mean, you can hear the wind and everything. Holy smokes! Like I played this on my desktop. This is more like what it's like. I'm not ready yet. Just listen to the music. wind and the separation. Yeah, you don't get that on a handheld like this. It irritates me after a while to wear headphones, maybe for 20 minutes, but I don't want to sit down and just wear headphones all the time. It actually starts, starts to bother me, so... I mean, you can really improve the immersive experience of this. I saw eyes in the darkness of the forest before I reached down. Glowing eyes. I've never been so terrified. For what it is, there's so much bass in this. But it's not like, I don't know, it's not rumbly, it's just a nice clean bass. Like, yeah, I wish you could like... Yeah, it sounds amazing. Okay, let's test out some more games, and now we'll do it on the Steam Deck. So we'll get this guy set up here, Steam Deck. Uh, again, the speakers are okay on a Steam Deck, but they're nothing special miss sound effects when you play on the little handheld. This game has a killer soundtrack. Let's turn it up because this game has such good music. Playing on these handhelds, I mean, you get good sound. Obviously, it's fine, but you you lack that bass. You really lack that you know that range, the ambiance, and the music doesn't pop nearly as much. So it's actually an awesome thing to just because it's so little. You know, you just set it up and then you just play your games, right? Like you don't need. It's not a big speaker by any means. Like it's compared this to the size of the Steam Deck. I mean, it's way smaller than a Steam Deck, obviously, right? And play on this. I mean, whatever. It really does enhance the experience quite a bit with the Steam Deck or OG Ally. PS Vita, whatever, whatever Bluetooth device. you. I guess you could also hook it up via headphones too, but that kind of defeats the purpose. But I mean, if you're gonna hook it up to even a console or something like that, you could set it up with a console direct line in and that's gonna really improve the experience. So yeah, it's, it's really nice. And the cool thing is because it's light, like it is actually a handheld type device, uh, I'm gonna be moving this around my house, right? And you know, this is one of the more compelling ways that I'm gonna be using this. Normally I have this big giant speaker thing that I set up here from time to time so I can actually hear what I'm watching. If I just have a show on my tablet when I'm cooking dinner, you know, I come out here, I'm trying to make, trying to make stuff. The oven is going, the, the stove is going, the fan's probably going, it's super loud, I can't hear anything, it's really annoying. Um, you know, I have a tablet here that's just producing almost no sound. It's a Samsung tablet, this sounds okay, but I could barely ever hear this thing over what I'm doing. So you're know, having something like this set up here, and I can actually have my show on when I'm doing stuff and actually get some real sound out of this thing. Super compelling to me. You know, I just bring these out here uh, and this is where I'm gonna leave it. Most of the time, you know, I'm gonna be probably using it here. Like here's uh, Adam Savage Tested. I often put these kind of shows on when I'm cooking, um, you know, and I don't necessarily wanna watch them. Maybe I do, you know, I can have them on my tablet over here and watch them. Sometimes I just like to listen to this kind of stuff, you know, somebody working at something. So I can actually hear, when I have it on my phone, I can't hear anything unless the phone is like on my head. I'm not gonna be able to hear anything. I don't want to wear headphones when I'm cooking. So I can, you know, just throw something like that on. I would put it into a bottle like this. Like this cap 
it offends me. Right? <laughs> it doesn't offend me. It's fine. But I want a better cat. Now I can actually hear the show while I'm trying to, now I can actually hear this guy's YouTube while I'm trying to cook or something like that. So it's really nice. I mean, that's probably how I'm going to be using it a lot. I'm going to be using it for watching shows on my tablet while I'm cooking. I'm going to be using it to listening to stuff, audio books, all this kind of stuff. You know, if you have Audible, speaker you got off, you know, Amazon or wherever, eBay or wherever you buy stuff, Best Buy. Sure, you could do that. But why not just get one device? That's what I'm gonna be, that's why I like this device here. You buy just this and you're good. I mean, it's gonna be good for conferences. It's gonna be good for video calling. You know, you have a built-in microphone and it actually sounds good. So, you know, it's gonna adjust based on distance. It has a lot of AI tuning as well. So if you're doing video calling, if you teach, if you do any conferencing, professional work, it's perfect. 